Lee, do you think a person's knowledge, uh, their background, their understanding of the world affects their character, their integrity? Yeah, I think so. Uh, experience in life, I think we grow, we continue to clarify. I know some great leaders in the POW camp and outside the POW camp have really reinforced in me what I wanted to be, who I wanted to be, and the importance of character, and refine that understanding of what's okay and what's not okay. So I think we should always be learning. You know, one of the things that I realize I've done, and I think a lot of people have, is uh, I use almost everybody to be a mentor to me. And every leader I've ever had, I say, I really like that, I want to lead like that, or I really don't like that. I don't want to ever, even my best leaders, I would see things in them and I'd say, eh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like that in terms of just their style and some of their things they did, not, not really character there. But in terms of character, we see that too. We see somebody take a stand and sacrifice, be willing to sacrifice for their character and for their commitments and their duty and their word. And that's always inspiring. And to be honest, it's our emotions usually that take us off course with our character. And so when we can get emotionally inspired, positive emotions to guard our character and to have a standard, that's very helpful to us. So it sounds like maybe over time, from the days when you were a POW, uh, through all the other experiences you've had, you've evolved th that character oh, as a development process. Absolutely. Is that, is that right? Yes, I, it has, has evolved, and, uh, but I know, I learned that it's an ongoing battle because I've seen really good people get off course and do the dumbest things character-wise. I mean, you know, the preacher has an affair, you know, the politician who's getting kickbacks and they were good people and all of a sudden, you know, the lady who works in the organization who embezzles money, we've seen it over and over and they were all good people and they got off course. So I'm not beyond that. And I'm trying to guard and protect myself from that. So as a, I guess, a, a follow on, there's a, in that development, you're going to determine what is the right character and development for you, but you're also going to look at other folks and other experiences mm -hmm. and other flaws and, and, and the folks that are around you, whether they're family or coworkers or colleagues right. and say, yep. that's wrong. Yeah. This is what I want to exactly. be. Exactly. And so I think that's a great learning point for life is that, uh, observing what's going on around us and deciding that's good and that's not good. And, you know, we can learn by experience and that can be painful, but learning by somebody else's experience and seeing their story played out is really one of the best ways to learn. It's the easiest way to learn. Yeah.